It has taken us millions of years to look like we do. Homo sapiens with opposable thumbs, relatively long legs so that we can stand up all day, and brain cases that can house the largest and most intelligent brain of any primate. But the rate of change of technology has completely blown our pace of evolution to pieces, meaning that we're putting ourselves in environments that we're simply not physically evolved to cope with, one of them being driving. We've got spindly limbs, a small rib cage, fragile joints, and an unstable floppy neck, all of which suck with dealing with the high g-force impact of a car crash. But what if Homo sapiens evolved specifically to physically deal with the impact of a car crash? Well, we'd look a bit like this. Say hello to Graham, the result of a research program orchestrated by the Transport Accident Commission in Victoria in Australia as part of a road safety campaign. It's fair to say he's a bit of an odd looking bloke, but there is some genuine bioengineering going on here which shows how weak our bodies are, especially now that we can drive road cars that can do upwards of 300 miles an hour. Let's start from the top of this guy and make our way down. He's got a seriously large, thick skull that's full of hollow pockets that essentially act as crumple zones, much better than our thin-plated skull that's susceptible to fracturing. On the inside, there's additional ligaments and cerebral fluid to keep his brain in place and stop it hitting the inside of his skull in an impact. His face is completely flat, avoiding any extrusions like a nose that could form a weak point, and it's covered in thick, fatty tissue so it can take a hit from a steering wheel or a dashboard straight to the face. In the face! In the face! His neck? Well, technically he doesn't have one, and that's not because he's morbidly obese, it's because it's an extension of his rib cage. Instead of our bony floppy number that's pretty crap at everything, he has a solid structure of bone and muscle that encases his entire spinal cord all the way up to the base of his skull. Graham would make an awesome prop in rugby. Now things get pretty grim if they weren't grim already. Those things aren't multiple breasts on his torso, those are organic airbags that are filled with fluid, and on impact they secrete that fluid to dampen the impact and protect him much more than our thin skin and small rib cage ever could. Although, imagine the state of his shirt after that defence mechanism kicks in. Not nice. Another sensitive area of the human body is the genitals, so what do you think Graham's military grade nether regions look like? Well, we've got an exclusive image, prepare yourselves. Thankfully, today's video is sponsored by Manscaped, because we thought Graham could really do with one of their performance package kits. As mentioned in our Batmobile video, Manscaped has partnered with the Testicular Cancer Society to raise awareness for the most common cancer in men aged 15 to 35, I imagine the age of many of you watching this right now. For every performance package kit sold, which comes with the Lawnmower 3.0 trimmer, ball deodorant, ball toner and a pretty sick pair of boxers, Manscaped will be giving a contribution to the Testicular Cancer Society. And once you've got your kit and you're down there sorting out your undercrackers, make sure to do some simple checks to look for the early signs of cancer. Use our special link in the description below to get 20% off your kit and free shipping, and then click the second link in the description description to find out these simple steps to check yourself for anything abnormal and take care of your pair. Graham, I think you need this one mate. If you get squeamish about feet then maybe avoid going on a date with poor old Graham here. He does without what we would call ankles because when you think about it they're just waiting to bend and even snap in a car crash especially once that pedal box comes in on itself. Graham, on the other hand, goes for additional joints that actually work on the pedestrian side of things, allowing him to spring away from oncoming cars. And his knees articulate more than just backwards and forwards, so to be honest, he sounds like one hell of an athlete. His lower body may be more werewolf than human, but he would walk away from some car crashes when we would be crippled. 
Graham may purely be an educational tool to show us how fragile our bodies are and how good car safety systems are these days, but hopefully cars get safer rather than nature having to take over and turning us into something like this. Come to think of it, I swear I've seen Graham somewhere before. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I've been Mike, and don't forget to subscribe to Drive Tribe.